Hi, this is Sasha Segan from PCMag.com, uh, showing you some of the features of the new Watch OS 2 on this new uh, rose gold aluminum Apple Watch. Uh, now, Watch OS 2 is not quite available for the existing watches yet. If you want it right now, you can get it on the new watch, uh, but it will come to the existing watches. Let me show you some of the new features here. Now, you noticed when I woke the watch up, that photo moved a little. And uh, that's because it's a live photo from, uh, the, from the iPhone 6S, and those have a little bit of motion attached to them. Uh, there's a bunch of new faces here. For instance, I'll show you the time-lapse face. And that shows a time-lapse image of six different uh, amazing places around the world, Apple says. You can also, on the modular face, of course, time travel to scrub through uh, seeing your appointments and what the weather was in the past, what your stock prices were in the past. Um, one of the features here is uh, third-party complications, for instance, CNN, this is the CNN app, has a complication, and if you scrub through, uh, you get to see what news stories were in the past. Now, CNN is also showing how you can play video on the watch now. Here's a CNN video. We can't hear the audio here because it's way too loud. But, um, so now, I'll go out to the, I'll go out to the uh, main app cloud here and also show you the, let's see if I can get the transit mode up in maps. We're loading the map. And you see here how, you see here how maps has this new transit mode, which is showing, for instance, Caltrain out of San Jose, and that'll give you transit directions to places. Now, there are a bunch of other new features and APIs in the new watchOS that we'll see as third parties take advantage of them. Um, as I said, the watchOS 2 is not quite available uh, for existing watches yet, but it will be coming, um, and it is available on these new watch models. Uh, this is Sasha Segan from PCMag.com, uh, showing you some of the features in watchOS 2.